Tonight, a murder investigation in East Point after a 24-year-old woman was found shot and killed. This is video from the scene on Fox Hunt Lane, and police say the woman's boyfriend has been arrested. They say he later confessed to the shooting that happened during a domestic dispute at their apartment. His charges are pending. Charges are pending against the man this morning after police say he shot and killed his girlfriend. It is only 6.06. If you're keeping track, this is our third shooting we've reported as a result of a domestic dispute. East Point police say Destiny Fitzpatrick was killed Tuesday evening on Fox Hunt Lane. Officers arrested the suspect. They say he told them the shooting happened inside their apartment during a domestic dispute. On Tuesday at 4.45 p.m., the neighbors were disturbed by a quarrel between a man and his girlfriend. Shortly thereafter, they heard gunshots. When the police came, they discovered Destiny Fitzpatrick, 24, who was lying lifeless on the ground, and Farterine Deontay Greer, 21, crying frantically and laying in a pool of blood near the front door. He then told the cops that two men wearing ski masks attempted to rob him and his girlfriend, but the cops would soon discover the truth. Before we begin this video, we would like to express our deepest sympathies to the family and friends who were severely affected by this horrible crime. We would also like to send condolences to Destiny's family and friends. Today's case takes us to East Point. East Point is a city located in Fulton County, Georgia. The city has a population of around 35,000 residents. East Point is situated in the Atlanta metropolitan area, southwest of downtown Atlanta, and is bordered by Haightville, College Park, and Atlanta. It is known for its convenient location near Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport, one of the busiest airports in the world. The city also has access to major highways and MARTA public transportation services. Destiny Fitzpatrick was born April 17, 1998. From 2018 until 2020, she was a cashier and salesperson at Krispy Kreme Donuts. Destiny enjoyed working there. She described herself as an excellent worker and was promoted multiple times. She even got bonuses and raises. It appears that once she stopped working, she began her own business. She was an independent business owner who also ran a retail establishment. She was incredibly passionate about her business and was constantly blogging, promoting, and ensuring its success. She also did a photo shoot to showcase her apparel. Destiny was described as goal-oriented, sweet and caring, and enjoyed having a good time while drinking and partying. Destiny was also romantically involved with 21-year-old Farterine Deontay Greer. Destiny was Greer's first girlfriend. They both adored one other and had no concerns with their age difference. The 24-year-old was hardworking, but Greer had nothing going for him. He had no drive to find a job at the time. He was simply pleased with everything. There have been no complaints of assault in the relationship, but their love tale would soon end unexpectedly. Around 4.45 p.m. on July 5, 2022, officers discovered Greer crying and very upset in a unit in the parking lot of the Galloway Apartments in the 4,000th block of Fox Hunt Lane. Fitzpatrick was discovered laying in a puddle of blood by the entrance door. A broken piece of glass was dispersed on the front porch, and belongings within the apartment were damaged and thrown all over the living room. Greer informed investigators at the scene that two individuals wearing ski masks attempted to rob him and Destiny as they were exiting the residence. He also informed authorities that the masked man had shot the 24-year-old. Greer was subsequently apprehended at the scene and eventually admitted to shooting the woman during a quarrel. A witness told police that he heard Greer and Fitzpatrick argue. Then a gunshot rang out. The witness stated that he walked outside and found Destiny laying on the ground, wondering whether she had been shot, and contacted the police. He also told investigators that he didn't see anyone fleeing the apartment. The 21-year-old male also refused to reveal his real name to authorities, instead claiming to be Atlanta rapper Young Thug's nephew. Sources confirmed their relationship, and the man is the rapper's older sister's son. Farterine Deontay Greer was charged with murder in the death of Destiny Simone Fitzpatrick, who was 24 years old. Greer is still in Fulton County Jail. 
facing charges of first-degree cruelty to children and possession of a weapon during the commission of a felony. In early June, another fatal shooting occurred at the same apartment complex. A witness told police that a car passed by in the parking lot and fired six rounds, injuring another person. Five young thugs' nephew now accused of murdering his girlfriend. It's the latest blow for the family of the well-known Atlanta rapper who's facing multiple felony charges. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Tom Haynes. I'm Courtney Bryant. Rapper Young Thug remains in jail after a grand jury indicted him and other alleged gang members in what prosecutors call violent street gang activity. Let's get out to Fox 5's Deidre Duke. She joins us live from the Fulton County Jail where Fardeen Greer made his first court appearance today. Deidre? That's right, making that a court appearance on murder charges. He reportedly told responding officers that he and his girlfriend were ambushed as they walked out of an East Point apartment. But a witness tells a different story saying that he heard the couple arguing just before the shooting. I am unable to consider bond at this time. Ordering Greer made a brief court appearance Friday afternoon. His arrest comes on the heels of the indictment of his uncle, popular rapper Young Thug, on RICO charges for alleged criminal gang activity in Fulton County. Police have charged 21-year-old Greer with murdering his girlfriend in East Point on Tuesday. Police responding to a person shot call in an apartment complex on the 4,000 block of Fox Hunt Lane discovered Destiny Fitzpatrick's lifeless body in a pool of blood. Greer was reportedly on scene when officers arrived. According to TMZ, Greer told cops he was Young Thug's nephew, the son of YT's oldest sister. A source close to Young Thug confirms the relation. Officers stated in the incident report that they observed items inside the apartment broken and thrown across the living room. Mr. Greer reportedly told police two men in ski masks attempted to rob the couple as they were leaving out of the apartment. Greer also stated that one of the masked gunmen shot the victim and they both ran afterwards. Greer reportedly told officers he dragged Destiny back into the house after she was shot and asked someone to call the police. But a witness on scene gave a different account, telling police he heard Destiny and Greer arguing, then what sounded like a gunshot. The man said he walked outside and observed a female on the ground, possibly shot, and called police. He said he did not see anyone running from the apartment. And Greer does remain behind bars here at the Fulton County Jail tonight without bond. Some people still wonder how they connected because he didn't appear to like females because he always wore eyeliner and his brows looked done. Others feel he was struggling with his sexuality. When someone is in that situation, they don't know if they like you or that he was afraid to come out of the closet, but all of this is just speculation that needs to be proven. It is stated based on his appearance. May Destiny's family take peace in the knowledge that justice will be done. If you would like to stay updated with this type of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the following video.